Hello friends, I welcome you back to Joan Academy. I trust you've been having a great time. In this video, we're going to be looking at the overview of the midbrain. In our previous video on neuroanatomy, we talked about the pons, both its internal features and also the external features. So let's have a look at the midbrain. It will interest you to know that the midbrain is also known as the mesencephalon. Among the structures of the brainstem, the midbrain is the part that is at the topmost. This simply means that it is the rostral part of the brainstem. It plays an important role in linking the pons and the cerebellum to the forebrain. Almost all the parts of the midbrain is situated in the posterior cranial fossa, and it passes across the hiatus of tentarium cerebelli in a horizontal manner. Among the different parts of the brainstem, the shortest part is the midbrain. Despite being the shortest part of the brainstem, the midbrain contains a lot of essential structures which makes it very important for the proper functioning of the body. Let's quickly look at some of those important structures that are contained in the midbrain. Some of the important structures that are contained in the midbrain are the relay nuclei. The relay nuclei are involved in the processing of auditory and as well as the visual information. Nuclei of the following cranial nerves are also contained in the midbrain and they include the oclomotor nerve which is the cranial nerve 3 the trochlear nerve, which is the cranial nerve 4, and also the nuclei of the trigeminal nerve, through which it controls the eye movement, and also the sensation of the face. Don't forget that the trigeminal nerve is the fifth cranial nerve. Also, the midbrain provides a passageway for the structures passing between the cerebral cortex and the spinal cord. Some of the important parts of the midbrain include the tectum. The tectum can also be called the roof or the quadrigeminal plate. The second part of the midbrain is the cerebral peduncles. Also, the midbrain has a part called the cross cerebri. We can also see the tegmentum and also the substantia nigra. The nuclei seen in the midbrain are the motor nucleus of the oclomotor nerve. It also contains the edingawistafa nucleus, which can also be called the accessory motor nucleus of the oclomotor nerve. The nucleus of the trochlear nerve is also seen in the midbrain. Likewise, the mesencephalic nucleus of the trigeminal nerve. The red nucleus is also seen in the midbrain. Other gray matter structures that can be seen in the midbrain are the substantia nigra and preaqueductal gray matter. Some important tracts are also associated with the midbrain. For the ascending tract, we have the spinothalamic tract and the trigeminothalamic tract. For the descending tract, we have the corticospinal tract, the corticobulbar tract, and the corticopontine tract. Generally, the midbrain is responsible for eye movement, for ocular and also auditory reflexes, for breathing, for pain modulation, and even for regulation of our mood. Like we said earlier, some tracts are also associated with the midbrain. So the midbrain helps as a passageway for this descending and ascending tract. Alright guys, in our next video, we'll be having a detailed look at the midbrain. Share this video with your friends. Stay blessed.